the Attitude Mode's new this year, and it's replacing Road to WrestleMania. So, can you talk a little bit about the story mode, how it progresses, and will we be able to play as the certain superstar all the way through the story, or will we jump between characters as we go through the duration of the story? Okay, very good question. Uh, so yeah, the Attitude Era mode is replacing Road to WrestleMania this year, and uh, and the way that the Attitude Era is broken up is broken up into six chapters. And within, within each one of those chapters, you know, you'll, you'll play as, uh, well, at the start of the mode, I'll just give you one down the start of it. Uh, you'll start uh, playing as Shawn Michaels in a storyline, uh, you know, that retells the rise of D-Generation X. So during the story, you'll play, you know, like I said, the first match is uh, Shawn Michaels versus Mankind. But during the, uh, the progress of this first chapter, you'll hop around playing as uh, different superstars, whether it's you know, Hunter Hearst Humsley, Shawn Michaels, uh, the New Age Outlaws, you know, you you kind of get to see how the D-Generation X stable, you know, kind of came to fruition. Uh, it's a really exciting, really exciting chapter, great way to kick off, you know, the Attitude Era mode, obviously, with, you know, dealing with D-Generation X. Uh, and from there, you know, you kind of just move on to the next chapter, which uh, focuses on Steve Austin and uh, his sort of uh, ascension to the, uh, the upper tier in the WWE. So to answer your question, you will be bouncing around playing as, as different superstars just so that, you know, players don't get kind of bored playing as the same guy for a lengthy period of time. You know, you'll be able to take control of uh, a variety of different superstars in the Attitude Era, uh, as well as, you know, uh, being able to play kind of what we call one-off matches, uh, which, are, which are unlocked through the match objectives within uh, the Attitude Era mode. Which, let me just give you a breakdown about that. So within each match, you have a series of primary objectives and secondary objectives. Now, the primary objective you're going to want to complete because that's what's going to allow you to progress through the mode. So that's very important. Uh, the secondary objectives are objectives that are based around the match and how it actually transpired, you know, whether it be on Monday Night Raw or the pay-per-view. Uh, so there's one more way of recreating that match as it actually happened. And completing these secondary objectives will award you unlockable superstars, uh, cool, you know, attitude era photos, um, you know, a wide variety of, uh, of, of content, including uh, what we call kind of like one-off matches, which are matches that might have taken place on an episode of Monday Night Raw, even though it may not be the focus of what we're telling, we kind of give players the ability to play a match that might have also happened on the same episode that they just played, dealing with other superstars that really aren't uh, paramount to the story, but also were within the Attitude Era, which is another great way that just prolongs the length of the mode and uh, you know really just gives it its depth and its, uh, its longevity. There, there are six chapters, uh, just to kind of sum up. Uh, you'll start out as DX, uh, reliving that, and then go into uh, Stone Cold's uh, part of his, uh, his story. And then you'll you'll take control of the Brothers of Destruction. You know you get to witness Kane's debut in the WWE, which is really really cool. It's one of my my favorite moments. And then you jump to The Rock, and then Mankind, and then you finally conclude the Attitude Era, the main story progression of it at WrestleMania 15. So all told, I mean it's a really really compelling feature, and we're all very excited and stoked about it. I think uh, once players get their hands on it, they're going to be like, "Well, WrestleMania, what? You know, it's like this is this is where it's at. Everybody loves Attitude Era." Yeah, I can't wait to try it out myself. Yeah, I think you're really going to dig it, especially, I mean, I'm sure you're a fan, a long-time fan. Yeah. And uh, just like I am. And being able to, it's just such a, it's just a fun trip down memory lane, you know, being able to actually not just, you know, uh, view a lot of the, the matches, but actually being able to participate and recreate what you saw, you know. It was it was just a really, really fun mode, especially, it was really fun to work on as well. Yeah, I was just saying exactly that's the thing. With older fans, it's good to sort of bring back the memories, and then for the new fans, they're all experiencing it for the first time, so it's nice and fresh for them. Exactly, yeah. You know, it's uh, it's it's educational, and it's fun. It's edutainment at its finest, you know. It's a really good uh, historical retrospective on, a, on one of, you know, I mean, inarguably the most important era in all of professional wrestling. Okay, so the decision to bring back that Attitude Era, it's been massively popular with fans. Uh, but have you run into any limitations in terms of fine-tuning it fitting with the current day PG era? Uh, you know, Paul, like, I, I got this question not too long ago uh, from another reporter, and uh, and it's a really good question to ask, I mean, because obviously with you know, the current day WWE being a PC product, aiming more towards the families, yeah. uh, we definitely weren't, we didn't run into any limitations insofar as what we were able to do to recreate uh, that raucous environment from the Attitude Era. Uh, probably the only thing that you'll find that we had to... Uh, as far as, you know, edit or whatever, is, you know, the middle fingers. Yeah. You know, we kind of use the blur effect uh, to uh, when Austin does the middle fingers. But it, it's pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool in gameplay when you flip off your opponent and you kind of see the blurs. 
But uh, but outside of that, you know, no, you know, the WWE they let us do what you know it is what we do best, which is produce you know great wrestling games, and you know we were authentic to the era, you know. So now we, I mean, to answer your question, no, there really were no limitations.